Hi there, this is Charlotte for Gamer Custom Net. Um, as promised, here is my unboxing. Uh, this is for the lovely Killer is Dead fan edition. Um, so I thought I'd pre ordered this off of Shop 2, apparently I hadn't. Um, so there was a mad rush yesterday. Uh, and Tim managed to acquire me a copy. I bought it on the PS3. Um, I do like my achievements, so it's a bit sad that I won't be getting them for this game. However, I wanted the fan edition because I'm a big Suda51 fan. If you've not heard of Killer is Dead, it's the latest game from a grasshopper manufacturer. Um, it's a bit Killer7, a bit No More Heroes, but a bit more sinister. Well, I suppose you can't get more sinister than Killer7. Killer um, Music by Akira Yamioka, um, which is always a good seller. And the fan edition was exclusive to a few chains, um, retailed at $49.99. And you get a bunch of really cool stuff in, which I'm going to show you now. Incidentally, this is still in stock um, online. Um, but you'll find that a lot of... I got this from Game you'll find that a lot of game stores have actually sold out of them because they probably got about two or three copies in um, and that's, if you're lucky, of just the standard game there was also a limited edition as well, however the limited edition just came with DLC and a few other things, whereas this comes with a lot more stuff so you also get with the fan edition exclusive packaging which is actually really nice and of course this is just a little slippy thing so to be fair I could possibly even get the Xbox 360 version and just put it inside and um, so you've got this on the front uh, this is Mondo, your main character, and then you've got the rest of the assassin's outfit on the back. Love and kill. This is where I really hurt this. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Yeah, so it's even, even more. So you get the limited edition inside. Um, this is just a retail copy as well, so it's not even a, a no resale. So I could indeed just stick in the Xbox 360 version and ignore what that says about being PS3. However, the cool stuff is inside this little box here. Okay. So you get a soundtrack. And I love it when they include physical soundtracks in collector's editions. Too many these days just give you a code that you download. Um, I don't know how many tracks it's got. Can you say? You don't say. It's the complete soundtrack, so that's cool. You've then got an art book. It's not your regular A5, it's actually a softback as well, so the art of Killer is Dead. Oh, it's a selection of like concept, some renders, some half naked women. I will flick through this as best as I can. So all in all, a nice art book actually, to be fair. It's not just full of bits from in the game that you can see by going in the game. It's got different pages for all the characters, because of course there's always a lot of characters in uh, pseudo games. Then you also get big poster. Now unfortunately this is folded up this small and from the back it looks like it's actually a really large poster and I hate it when posters are folded. Oh there's so many creases in it. This is like, yeah, this is a proper fold out. Almost wall. Look at that. There's Mondo's girls and Mondo himself. And Brian over there. So that's really cool. Unfortunately it is now I've got to fold that back up. And then the other thing that you get with the fan edition, which is super cool. Oh, it's not on that high paper. You get um, a paper craft diorama, although the quality, well, the GSM of this paper seems to be pretty low. So the the outcome that you get is Mondo slashing out a, um, a wire from the looks of it, which are the uh, bad guys in the game. You got Mondo, there's the wire, some more of him. I guess that's the background. And the slash of your samurai sword. So those are pretty cool. 
They were designed by Tubby Paws. And uh, the fan edition is literally what it says. A fan's edition. If, if you're not aware of Suda51, he's like this sort of cult Japanese developer. Um, made No More Heroes. Well, he was he kind of left on the um, radar of a lot of gamers when Killer7 came out. Um, however, I love No More Heroes. I never got around to actually completing Killer7, which I always regret. But he also did um, a few other obscure games, like uh, Michigan that came out on the PS2. Uh, he recently, I think, directed uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, then Shadow of the Damned was also his. I'm trying to think what else. There's another fantastic game of his that I absolutely love. Um, called Flower, Sun and Rain. It's kind of a Groundhog Day type game that was originally on the PlayStation 1 in Japan and they released it on the Game Boy, well on the DS, sorry, um, which I was really happy about. Uh, unfortunately they never released the other game, I think the Silver Case, they were going to be releasing that on the DS as well, but they didn't. What's really cool is that like I am a really huge Suda51 um, Suda fan. Uh, when I went to E3 this year I hunted him down to sign all of my copies of all of his games that he's made um, because, I don't know, something about his games, uh, they're kind of quirky, the characters are always extremely memorable and um, I don't know, <laughs> you never come away dissatisfied. Fortunately the manual is in black and white, you get the code for the DLC on the back, uh, you get the, uh, I think it's the Smooth Operator DLC pack. Um, which gives you the gigolo mode um, x-ray vision, sexy police bikinis and Betty for gigolo mode. Now gigolo mode is a part in the game where you seduce women basically. Um, Suda likes to put some strange stuff in his games um, and I'm actually really looking forward to playing this. I previewed it at E3 and loved it. Um, and in fact I am really looking forward to this CD as well. Um, so that was The Killer is Dead fan edition. I'm unsure if it actually came out in the US. I'm hoping for you guys it's not a UK exclusive. Um, but as and what I was really happy about was as collector's edition goes, they were it wasn't very expensive. Um, I think the limited edition was maybe five pounds less or the same price, and then the game itself was a tenner less. So for a tenner you got a poster, C D, you know, the DLC, the art book, the paper craft. And this lovely packaging, I do like that. So yeah, um, hopefully see you guys soon. I'm going to do a pickups video for September soon. I also want to show off something new that I got for my arcade machine, and hopefully a video for the arcade machine as well, because I know that I promised to do one probably like a year ago or so, and never got around to doing it. Um, but yeah, uh, almost time for GTA 5. Yeah, uh, so Kathy will be doing her unboxing for that as soon as she gets it. Um, until then, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.